Good morning. Welcome to the garden this morning. I got to start the day out with an orchid mount because, um, yeah, it, the mount degraded, so it's time. So anyway, I've already managed to get that plant off of its old mount, which is, well, what's left of it is right here. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's a little Florida native um, that is Encyclia or Perstechia boothiana and uh, it's starting to ship out some new roots so we're getting ready to put it on this new mount which uh, you know it's cork the other mount was uh, oak bark but uh, it was pretty thin so it did it started breaking down so anyway I soaked it this morning um, and just this peeled off really really easy but you can see it's a really small plant so anyway I've got me a couple holes poked into the cork I've got me a piece of twist tie material, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this done. That's going to be the first um, task for today, and then i got to finish up on watering. I've got to do my paphia petalums, and I've got to water the big monster in here, um, the epidendrum raniferum, so and i got to move all these plants out. Uh, this is actually a gift for Maria Young, her kind of a birthday present and stuff like that. And a thank you for shipping me off so many plants and stuff like that. That's what we call the uh, Todd's Tropical tropical Six-Pack of Plants. So, And there's some cool stuff in there for her. So, Anyway, um, yeah, that goes to Tam Miami, but I got all that together. I'm getting ready for Tam Miami, guys. So I'm only going for one day, but, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff done here. When I come back, uh, this will be mounted no big rocket science tricks or magic tricks here it's you know you just weave the uh, twist tie material in between the pseudo bulbs and anchor it in and that's that i mean you know um i'll show it to you when i get done here okay now when i do um mounting um what i do is uh you pop the holes in the cork i use an old uh, phillips head screwdriver I always make sure I have more than enough twist tie material. Um, that's important. I mean, you can always, it's better to have more than not need it than not have enough to go through all the, the plant and the other hole here. So, but anyway, um, yeah, and I always usually start from the back. It's easier to find the hole in the cork in the back of it because the back of the cork um, is smoother than the front. This is the front part of the cork here. So, alrighty, I just wanted to add that in and let you guys know that's how I do it. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna weave this uh, piece right here through the pseudo bulbs and get it into the other side here. So, and we'll be back. Alrighty, so we've got that uh, weaved into the in between the pseudo bulbs and have it anchored in spot where we're gonna do it. So now all we have to do is flip this guy over like that. It's not going nowhere. Make sure you don't mash up the uh, bulbs. And then from there, we just twist tie it, just like it's a piece of bread. Hold on and I'll get that done. Anyway, we're all done. That's all tied up and that's not gonna go anywhere. I'll flip it back over and voila. Freshly mounted uh, Encyclia boothiana or Prostechia. And all those new roots will come out and snatch that mount up like no tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that works. So I've been meaning to do that, so it's better now than never. I want to get it before those uh, um, roots come out of that pseudo bulb. That way, you know, it'll have a better chance to grow on. Alrighty, what's up next? Okay, so we're going to end the video out here uh, with a question, answering a question uh, from somebody wanting to know about Big Mama, what's the coldest temp it has seen. And uh, Big Mama here has seen a low of about 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that's about all I, any of my orchids will see, is about 37, 38 degrees. And then I start worrying and they also said if I'm going to be dividing this soon, probably, most likely, it's getting really overgrown. So, um, 
I am probably going to give it a new start for myself and I'll probably have some cuts available later on down the road um, so yeah to answer that question so um, anyway thanks for joining me in the garden today um, I'm gonna get busy and get to watering here finish up that task and uh, maybe I might put out another video today we'll see um, kind of busy got a busy day ahead of me so um, we'll see Anyway, love and peace, keep it growing, and we'll definitely see you on the flip side. Have an awesome day.